What it do, what it do, guys? And since the Mullah Gore refund that we got a couple of days ago, I decided to pick up my main account again after, like, I don't know, a month of inactivity. I decided to start finishing up some of the heroes that I was uh, working on. Like, my account isn't, you know, there, but I could make a six star pretty easily if I actually wanted to, so. The main topic today is not about my account being a mess, but it's about my Karen. Since I got those Bolagoras, which was like about around 23 or so, I was completely able to almost plus 15 ers and I think she's gonna be my first uh, plus 15, actually, if I do get it down, or Luna, whichever one comes first. But playing with Karen and plus, uh, plus uh, 15 in her, I know there's a lot of things. Holy crap! If you Mulligore has some abilities, then they hit hard. All seven of this. <laughs> and our S3 do hit pretty hard with the crap gear that I do have. Now, Carrie was a person I actually did want just because I thought she was cool. And lo long behold, she is cool. Unfortunately, none of the gear that I actually got for her is as good as I want it to be, you know? This has no attack on it, but has a lot of crit destruction and uh, crit chance. This has a fact. I need to get a new chest piece. I don't actually care. I need to get it. Like the, uh, I'm, I, I'm actually pretty fortunate that the, everything rolled in the attack and uh, unfortunately for the crit chance, it, it, it rolled low, but everything rolled to attack, so I'm pretty happy about that. I need to get a new neck piece, a new ring. These boots actually pr roll pretty fine, except that they roll all in the HP. So, yeah. And new boots. Other than that, she is pretty. She is pretty good. A plus seven her uh, her S three plus three her S her S uh, what's this S two. I couldn't do it because I, I'm out of her catalyst and almost fully that for S one. Now she's pretty much on the squishy side because why not? And she's almost at three k attack. But only 20% 20, 20 effectiveness. Now, I do take joy in her because also, just like her, I talk about my Sid. But Sid. Wait, that necklace might be good for her. But yeah, I'm happy about this care for, for one fact that she actually replaces my Chloe for Wavering 11. And it only. And it only. Like, I still like using Chloe's Wavering 11, but like. Without a reliable defense break. It gets pretty slow, and even though Chloe do like good chunk of damage, I like Karen just because I actually Molagora. Maybe if I Mola, fully Molagora uh, Chloe up, she's only a plus three and everything. I might be able to do some things. Same with uh, Luna. I need I need Molagora them up some more. But yeah, let's go. Let's go to Waver Eleven. And go look up Karen. I didn't know the background had a PS4 noise till now, but ignore that. But anyway, I, I gotta go with the trash. But yeah, like this is pretty reliable only because Bass is a pure tank and I just keep him alive. So my only like the only job is that Karen and Luna do the uh, deeps for me. And I can say without a doubt that if she do get like a defense break, she does it like a truck. Like anybody will with a defense break. So I'm happy about this Karen. I'm actually really happy. So that's just my hardest hitting character. Cause I actually I don't think I have an actually built I think I've never built a crit destruction set on anybody before. It's always been either speed or crit. I think it's only been speed and crit. I have. I don't think I have nobody on the attack set. Or I have nobody on the uh, a full AP set. Damn, this game is uh not looking good. <laughs> if if everybody's on a speed set, but I'm starting to actually start venture out like away from like just having nothing but speed and crit on everybody. So there's that, yeah, and like with Karen, it actually it actually speeds up my waving clear a whole lot. If she lets a defense, right? I should, I should say that she just has twenty like twenty percent uh, effectiveness. She sometimes don't land a defense rate just like that. And if she and if she don't, it's still okay because she still get the attack again. She she has around like seven k each auto attack. That's what I said. If I got better gear, like. All the stuff. I wish she didn't do that unless she had a defense break, but oh well. 
Like, it usually cycle around. Like, as she do that, her S2 come back up, and the next time she uses the S2, her S2 will come back up. So, this every now and then. But what was I saying before? Well, I completely forgot what I was saying before, so. If I happen to re uh, reiterate it, let's know that I, lo I lost what I was saying before. Anyway. Yeah, it speeds up my waiver clear quite a lot, honestly. Anyway, so, yeah, that's basically Waver 11 in a nutshell. Let's see if I can actually, uh, it was me, I want to see if her S3 is up. No, it's not. It feels bad. Oh my god. Yo, I never actually did Waver so, 11 so quick. So every now and then I'm gonna try to improve on my Karen. Just to see how well I can actually fine tune her. I didn't even get the if like <laughs> once I get the catalyst then it's be a okay. Actually I'm gonna save it if I for when I don't get a defense break. So let's do this. Even though it's just a little bit, I still wanna I still wanna just get through the shield. Even though I know I can't, but you down. Why, why does it do that sometimes? Why does it automatically double Arky? I think that's just me. I think because I clicked too quick. I clicked too quick. Ridiculous. Oh, a little kill off. Because I double Arky, I was able to do it. Hey, Powder of Knowledge. That's what we need. One. This is a huge insult if you do Wave at 11. One Powder of Knowledge. I, have, I collected 15, so I, I got... Instead of pieces of gear, they gave me 15 powder of knowledge. So anyway, that's my carry. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing I can really work on besides probably the neck, ring, boots, and chest. I do, I do like my helmet because it do, do give a fender. It's unfortunate that it has the fits, but if I get anything better than this, I will definitely pick it up. It's unfortunate that everything, you know, the last roll went into defense. If it went into like crit chance or crit damage, it would have been great. But crit damage isn't that bad. And this, I'm actually happy about this one because attack, effective, and crit chance. That's the three things I'm looking for. I don't really care about speed. If I get speed, whoop de do. I'm not really, I'm not really using her for like PvP. Just more PvE and more speed would definitely be beneficial. But if not, then. Mm. And everything else is garbage. Yeah. So see you guys around. Hope you guys enjoyed my Karen. I don't know. I don't know who to build next. I think the next... I, I, I Like, when I came back, I did have a lot of fun with lots, honestly. I had a, had a lot of time. I had a lot of fun with lots. I might need to strip his gear down. But lots is actually really fun. Like, his, his uh, buff for his S2... If I Mulligore this up, then it's basically just like Zeri Lots, but uh, just with a heal. And I think that's pretty sick for a healer to have 100% combat, combat readiness when he use it. So I might be level, might be uh, showcasing the Lots off when I actually do get him. But there's another little boy that I actually really want to talk about. Then I'm thinking about gearing up real quickly. And his name is... Uh, And his name is Leo. <laughs> Only because I do like his design. I do like Leo design. Unfortunately, he's more PvP. But I definitely do want to build a Leo at some point. Because he seems cool. I do like him. But you're going to need a lot of effectiveness to actually be useful in PvP. For the simple fact that everybody build effect resistance. But having Leo would be cool. I actually do want to build a Leo. The thing is, I don't know what the artifacts would probably run for. I probably, since I want him to actually land his abilities or his stuns, I'll probably be running Oath Key. Now, since I don't actually make, like, PvP videos, like a lot of people do, like TK, but I don't have a lot of PvP units. I'm not really a PvP guy, but I do want to build Leo for PvP, just because I, I like his design. I think Oath Truth might be... Oath Key might be a good a good artifact for him. 
Because he's not going to be there for damage. He's going to be there just to be a stun god. And that's okay by me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time for Epic 7 or whatever video I decide to put up. I don't know. See you guys around. Bye.